was, can someone be delivered by the laying on of hands from a curse? Yes, uh, somebody can be delivered by the laying of hands by making sure that they discover what type of curse are they in. Yeah, walking in. Yes. Because if you're walking with a curse of being cursed by somebody else, then there's a person who's got a higher spiritual responsibility can be able to take you out of that curse by laying hands and saying, let us say, if you are cursed by witches, yes. you can be delivered. If you are cursed by Sangomas, if you're cursed by somebody else, you may be delivered. Even if you curse yourself, somebody may lay a hand on you. But generational curses is different. Generational curses are not delivered by the laying on of hands. Generational curses are delivered by the, the preaching of the word of God or by the, 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 the delivering of the mind. Now the Bible says, I pray, I beseech you, brethren, by the message of the Lord, that you be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may know what is acceptable, the perfect and the good will of God. So what is happening is that in order for you to be transformed from generational cases, you need information. Mm -hmm. You need to be taken out of ignorance. You need the ability to know. The Bible said, Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. So the highest level of deliverance, it is the knowledge of the truth, not the laying of hands. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, uh, I am enjoying this too much. Yeah. But I don't want you to exhaust what is in the book. That's true. That's true. <laughs> because yes. at the end of the day, yeah. somebody, somebody must get the, the book. book. Somebody <laughs> must just get the book. Yes. But there's so much. Uh, uh, more that you're going to get out of yeah. uh, 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 reading the book Breaking Bloodline Cases. It says here the yoke is broken. Yeah. And indeed the yoke is broken. And and um, I wanted to ask you a question before we went deep into this. And yeah. I'm still uh, 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 tempted to ask yes. because I've heard a lot of writers talk about something they call writer's block. Yes. Yeah? And from your own writing, what was the greatest challenge in you having the book written and penned out? Uh, the greatest challenge to me was actually aligning myself with the seasonal word that is spoken by God. Because sometimes when you're writing, you have to check the state of your spirit mm. where you are in. Because as you are writing, you are not writing to the flesh, but you are writing to the spirits of men. Meaning that you need to speak to the spirit and you can't speak to the spirit from a position of being just a human. Yeah. You need to be in that spiritual state. So I always prayed and always made sure that God, I just wait when I feel pressured by the spirit to write, then I will write like that. So that, that's one of the things that I can say it was a challenge because every other <laughs> thing after that was just flowing by the special grace of God. Okay, and now that this package is here, this mm. package, package is done, yeah. where do we get it? This book right now will be available next year, probably by January on Amazon. Okay. So it's going to be available almost worldwide. It's going to be available. We've already, yesterday I got an email from Amazon that we have been admitted to get the book uh, uh, inside. Okay. So there's just few documentation that we need. Then I'm sure that by January it will be finalized. But currently, this book can be shipped, or I mean delivered, everywhere in South Africa. So okay. if you're in South Africa, you have to contact me straight or contact us on our WhatsApp broadcast. Uh, the number is 073-073-1634. Uh, That's a, a WhatsApp number for the broadcast. So you can contact that number on WhatsApp and make an order for your book. Then somebody will assist you there in terms of you. And also on our mall, uh, on, on our mall, there's a, we have a vendor website which is called ourmall.co.za. Ourmall.co.za. And if you want the book delivered in the comfort of your home, yeah. you can actually text 073 163 And you can purchase it straight. If you don't want to, to, to call that number, go straight to the website. Uh, just click the URL ourmall.co.za then you can search breaking bloodline cases and you will see the book that you can purchase it from there as well go get the book go get the go, book go get the book <laughs> <laughs> yes. i am reminded of bishop td jacks he was busy explaining something about the book and he just, just 
I don't want to finish off, go get the book. That's it. So same as uh, we're talking about breaking bloodline cases. Yes. I'm still inspired by just um, the fact that it is there. Yeah. And um, as a writer, I understand how difficult it is to birth anything on a different level. Yes. For the first time. That's true. Yeah. Because I'm sure more is already on the way. Yes. After yes. this, after more this, has to it's, come. It's just, it's just. Flowing. So if I can ask you, what is, what's next from you? I have other six books. <laughs> oh my god. Let's not get into the six. What's next in 2020? Yes. Starting from this is December. Obviously, you have your plans wrapped up and you have uh, plans for the new year. Yes, I'm going to be in Zimbabwe next week. Is it? Yes. Wow. <laughs> so if you are in Zimbabwe, I'm bringing some copies in Zimbabwe. Thank uh, god. Those who are going to Zimbabwe because that's my country. That's my nation. <laughs> yeah, Hallelujah. So I'm going to be there. But the Lord has spoken to me very seriously in this season. The first thing I want to speak about is that in each and every family, God has raised a deliverer. Mm. God has raised somebody who is there to change the pattern. Yes. The Bible says when Israel was a slave in Egypt, God raised Moses. When the world was about to face a famine, God raised Joseph. When the walls of Jerusalem were, were down, God raised Nehemiah. And when the latter house, which is the temple, was destroyed, God raised a prophet called Haggai who said, the glory in the latter house shall be greater than the glory in the former. And uh, so, so what we see here, even when the world was perishing, God raised a man by the name Jesus to mm. come and save the world. So somebody right now that is listening to me may become that deliverer that in the family they were waiting for that in the community they're waiting for, that in the nation they're waiting for. So I'm speaking to somebody who says, I think I'm the Moses of my own generation. I'm the Joseph of my own generation. I'm the Jesus of my own family. So I'm being raised by God to confront a system, to deliver a people and to change a pattern. You don't have to accept that you were born in the way that things are. Don't say this is our family thing. Just say from me, the pattern is changing. Yes. Just say from me, we are not staying like this. It's not going to happen for us to remain like this. Because your own children must not fight your own battles. You know, the life of David was a perfect life of what a father is. The Bible says in the life of David, when David was a king, he fought with many nations and fought a lot of wars and won most of his wars. That's why he says some trust in their chariots, but I trust in the name of the Lord. So he was a man of war, but Solomon, who inherited the throne of David, he never even fought one battle in his lifetime as a king. He lived and reigned in peace. The Bible says all nations were in peace with Solomon and nobody wanted to fight Solomon. Why? Because they knew the father. <laughs> <laughs> I need a daddy like that. And I hope they and knew that we all the father peace. was a giant. Yes. So there's no need to even attempt. So he lived in peace. So what I'm saying is that what we win now will make our children live in peace and not have to fight anymore. Don't allow your children to inherit your battles. Let them inherit the blessings of the Lord upon your life. In 2020, the Lord has spoken to me. He said to me, the year 2020, it's a year of transition. It's a year of change. 2020, remember, in 20, it's, it's just almost like uh, two decades after 2000. Hallelujah. Mm. So every 10 years, there's a new season that begins to come. So God in 2020 is bringing a new season for the church, bring a new season for the children of God. So the Lord said to me in 2020, it is a year of great multiplication and establishment for the children of God. So next year, you are going to grow in your finances. Next year, you are going to grow in your ability to, to have an outreach as a church and to expand as a church of God. The Lord said to me, we must pray because there's a revival that is starting from next year. Now this revival is a soul winning revival. We will see a change in our government. We will see changes happening in, 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 in our industries, media industries and institu secular institutions. Jesus Christ will be penetrating those institutions and many people will be now worshiping the Lord and coming to the Lord worldwide. So next year, I want every child of God to say, Lord Jesus, 
I want to become that vessel. I want to become that Moses. I want to become that person that you are going to use to change not only my family, but my nation. Not only my nation, but my community. And not only my community, but my continent. And I believe that if you avail yourself and you get yourself this book called Breaking Bloodline Cases, next year will become a year where you say no curse will be able to stand before me. Praise God, praise God, praise the Lord. That's so powerful. I thank God yes. for you, men of God. And I yes. thank God for what God is doing through you and for you. Yes, we thank God. And God's unfortunately, we're, we're coming to that time. But before we get to that time, yes, uh, I want to give you a chance if you are listening to, um, first of all, which is very most importantly, uh, surrender your life to Jesus. If you have never given your life to Jesus and you say, how do all these things apply to me if I need... This is the starting point. Uh, if you believe in your heart, if yes. you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So the first and foremost important thing is to align yourself and become a part of the commonwealth of the beloved and, and uh, uh, the commonwealth and a child in the kingdom of God. Yes. So from the onset, if you're there and you say, I've never heard about this Jesus. So if I've heard about Jesus but I moved away and stuff happened, and there's always an explanation to it. I want you to pray this prayer after me before we get to this break mm. and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I invite you in my life I invite you in to my be life. king and savior. To be king and savior. I confess with my mouth I confess with that, my Jesus mouth. Your Lord, that Jesus your Lord and I believe in my heart I don't believe that in God my raised you from the dead. God raised you from, from, the today, dead. from today I give you my life. I give you my life. Be Lord, King, and Savior. Be Lord, King, and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Do you need legal assistance? Then Carson's attorneys... So we just get into prayer. Established in 19... Yeah, but it's...